So this is a uh, uh, function questions extraordinaire. They're really, really messing with you. People have so these function questions. All they are is situations where you just have to follow a complicated set of, set of instructions. You're not supposed to know any of this coming out, coming into the test, right? They're going to invent all these new functions, and uh, you just have to follow instructions and be super regimented about how you write things down, and you'll always get the right answer. This problem, however, uh, if for whatever reason this this really messes with people, this problem in particular is is off the deep end. They've got at least three special functions that you have to memorize, or not memorize, but you have to use. So you've got the specialized function f of x, which is x plus one the special function g of x, which is 2x minus 3, and the special function star, which is equal to this thing. Right, so let's do these in steps. <laughs> so f of 3, um, what we want to do is take the 3 and make that the input on the f function. So let's put a 3 in for wherever there's an x. So take the f function, and let's put a 3 in for every x. So we get f of 3 equals 3 plus 1. Now let's do g of 4. g of 4. So we're going to take a 4 and put that in everywhere where we have an x in g. g of 4 equals, uh, so let's say 2x, 2 times 4, minus 3. So that's... Um, I should solve these. f of 3 is equal to 4, and g of x is equal to um, 5. It's nice that they simplify down to, a, uh, to an integer. That's, really, that's nice at the test. So now what we want to do is find f of 3, which is equal to... I'll, I'll rewrite this. So f of 3 star g of 4. That's not multiplication. That's their special character star. So f of 3 is 4, so we want to find 4 star 5. g of 4 is 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to, so on the, the star operator, um, is defined by, by this. So it looks like when you take, the star operator has sort of two inputs. It's got a left side and a right side. And the, <laughs> whatever is on the left side, we're going to plug in for all these A's. So 4 is A. And whatever's on the right side, we're going to plug in for all the Bs. So 5 is the B. I'm just putting that lightly just so I don't forget. So what we want is 2 times A, which is 4, plus B, which is 5, minus A, which is 4, times B, which is 5. Right? I'm just following. I'm just not, I'm, I'm not inventing anything. I'm just following instructions. So 2 times 4 is 8 plus 5 minus 4 times 5 is 20. Um, 8 plus 5 is what? 13 minus 20 is negative 7. So that's your answer, the second option.